The way I teach incorporates a lot of different ways for them to learn so that even if they don't get the whole thing, they're getting pieces along the way. So everybody's getting at least a little bit throughout each lesson. My name is Nikki Amos. I'm the lead teacher in the intermediate class at the Waynesboro location of Good Shepherd. My responsibilities are with the beginner and or intermediate classes. Their ages are three to five typically. So our numbers lessons, we start with a song. I call it a song sandwich. So we start with a song and we end with a song. We used one of our finger poems, which is a song or a chant that has hand motions to it, to lead into apple trees. We used felt numbers to put on the apple tree, pretending that they were apples. As we went through, I had them get up and we pretended to have apples on our heads, but still used numbers because we were taking 10 careful steps so that we're not dropping the apples off our head. If they're going through different motions, then it helps them to refocus. And then we go into flashcards. They'll have the number on the front and then on the back there's pictures and it's that number that's on the front using the flashcards and them having a visual of the number and counting is a major part of that so that they're exposed to that each day. And then once we had some fun with that, tossing the cards around a little bit and then having them help clean it up and help the friends who didn't have any cards, like sharing with them, teaching things along the way each step, even if it isn't exactly what the lesson is supposed to be. And we talked about the star shape on the inside of an apple and how God hid a star in the apple. We do incorporate biblical points and God in as much as our lessons as we can. The songs that we use in numbers, like one, two, three, Jesus loves me. One of the things that I like to tell them about numbers is that numbers go on forever forwards and they go on forever backwards. And God's like that. God doesn't have a beginning. He's like that. He goes forever backwards and forever forwards. So finding little things like that to help pique their interest, it's still an exposure. It's a seed that's planted. Incorporating those things is good, even though a lot of times we don't see the fruits of that. When I started at Good Shepherd, um, I didn't have any previous experience. I was trained by a wonderful teacher at the Neff Avenue location, and she taught me a lot of stuff, everything I needed to know and more. They definitely supported me and were behind me in a lot of different ways. I was never told that I could not fill that position because everybody knows it's a learning process. And when you have a person who loves on the children well and is willing to learn, that's like, the baseline. I love the kids and I love hanging out with them and teaching them things and seeing how much they grow.